Today I'm going to show you how to use Windows Virtual Desktops. It's a new feature that's available in Windows 10, but it's actually a feature that's been around quite a while for Linux users. So if you've used Linux before and used them, them there, it's basically the exact same idea on, the, on Windows 10. Uh, what it is, is it allows you to split up applications between several desktops, so it makes it a bit easier for your workflow where you can kind of split up applications based on uh, what you're using so that you can flip between them really quickly, like if you were doing video editing and just wanted to flip between the two applications for that and then have a separate desktop for uh, like the internet that you don't use as often, then you can do it that way. So you'll see here that I have three applications running, I have Chrome, Paint, and then OneNote. And if I do an alt tab, then all three of them will show up because they're all on this desktop. But if you hit the Windows button and tab instead, or if you hit this little button down here, then it brings up your tasks, but also at the bottom it has these options for desktops. So the desktop 1 currently has all the apps running in it, but if I switch to desktop 2, there's actually nothing running here. So, but these applications show up as running, but you'll see that they're not viewable here. But if I click on any of them, it'll switch me to the desktop that they're active in. But if you want to switch an application to a different desktop, then you just click on this option here, or you can hit the Windows button and tab and bring up this exact same screen, and then right click on whichever application you want to move to a different desktop, and say move to, and then choose whichever desktop you want. You can also create a new desktop to move it to, and you can really have as many desktops running as you want. So if I select the new desktop, option here, then you'll see that now it's created a new one and then this application is available here and none of the others are. So it's just this one, like if I do an alt tab, then you'll see this is the only application that shows up. Uh, you can also go back to that same screen with Windows tab and uh, that's where you can actually remove the desktops as well. So if I didn't want this Chrome one here anymore, then I can just uh, exit off like that and you'll see it moves your applications to the next one over. So it doesn't close your applications when you close that desktop. Uh, that's basically how you use the desktops in Windows 10.